Hi, I'm Chelsea from Tech Diva Media. And in this video, we're gonna talk about how to build an app, specifically starting with user stories to define how your app's gonna work, what screens you're gonna have, to be able to help with your wireframing, and to be able to work with the development team so you get a really uh, dialed in price for the build and the production of your app. Okay, let's take a look. So what is a user story? Well, a user story is a way to map out your app requirements by talking about them. So it's a series of conversations about the way someone would use your app. Now, why would you want to create a user story? Well, you create a user story to make it easier to determine the requirements for your app, but also to consider what will make your app the most useful for your target users. So when do you create these user stories? You create these stories when you're in the ideation phase of your app, basically at the beginning. It then informs the user experience and the design and development requirements for your app. So if you map this out first, it goes a long way towards helping you with understanding what you're going to need and for a team to be able to quote your project if they haven't done so already. How do you create a user story? Well, it starts with this statement that's kind of the orienting uh, sentence that you'll use to be able to answer this and you may have different types of users and I'll go into some examples in a second but you may have different types of users so for each type of user you'd be trying to answer this sentence as best as you can so it would be as a certain user type I want this feature so that I can do this so let's look at an example from a recent project I've been working on so here's an example from a, an actual project I've been working on. So at the top you see the sentence that I mentioned before. As a user type, I want whatever features so I can benefit. So in this example, what we're looking at is the type of features that a particular app wants or needs. And this is an app that's going to be designed to edit images with some cool text and effects and then share your location and your tags and then be able to um, kind of get reviews and input and comments and likes from um, other people in your network. So very similar to what's out there already, which brings us to the whole point of why you create a user story, because you need that to understand how to differentiate your own stuff from everything else out there in the market. So if we were just going to create an app that has an image editor and allows you to be able to share your photos and your location with some comments, well, you're pretty much creating another Instagram, so it's not really going to be anything special. So that's why we have to dig into the user stories to figure out who's going to care about it, who would actually benefit from it, and how can we add features that would make it unique so that this particular app could be something that's marketable, either as a value add to an existing product or service that a company has, you know, for their particular customers, or for a particular type of end consumer who would benefit from it and how could you customize it? So that's why we do the user stories. So if we scroll down here, we're looking at several types of users that this particular client wants to work with. And one is a traveler. So whether it's a business traveler or a personal traveler, um, the, the statement here, as a traveler, so remember my statement from before, as a traveler, I want to easily share photos of my journey so that I can post the world. So here's the user type. Here's what they want to do with the app and the, the feature. And here's the benefit. So I can post the world. So that's the traveler. So another user type or user story is the chef. So as a, the user type would be a chef. I want to, here's the feature quickly share photos of my creations so that I can, and here we go into the benefit, get hired by a finer restaurant and or bring in patrons, right? So there's two different user stories that have two different intentions or reasons as to why they would be using an app, and you'd be designing slightly differently depending on which user you're working for or you're designing for. The next one is like an artist or performer or musician. So as an artist, that's the user type, I want to post what I'm up to which is the feature, so that I can get people to come to my events and or build my fan base. That would be the benefit, right? So you can start to see that the different users have different reasons or features that they want for different purposes. Uh, we also did it for a restaurant or retail store owner and then a lifestyle entrepreneur. 
and then a person with distant family and friends, which is much more generic. But the more specific we get, as you can see like in the example of the chef, well that's a pretty specific way you'd be using this app. So if you know that that's like your hottest market, then the way you design your app would be catering more towards a chef, no pun intended, right? So you'd be designing something that's quick, that's rapid, that's um, got colors that really speak to chefs, um, and that maybe have hints and suggestions that are specific to the food industry or to chefs, where you could create um, you know, similar features but have a completely different look and intention and personality if you're designing for a traveler, for instance, right? So your app might do the same things and the requirements might be pretty similar, but the way it's designed, what gets featured prominently at the beginning when someone loads the app the first time, the way it gets positioned in your marketing, all of that is affected by the different types of users, which you figure out by creating your user stories. So this gives a really good example of how figuring out the stories first is what's gonna inform the rest of your app. Um, and so these are super helpful to figure out at the very beginning when you're in discussion with your design and development team, uh, when you're getting quotes, when you're reaching out for proposals and getting bids, you wanna map this out. Now you, in many cases, are gonna be making this up based on your best guess, knowing who you want to be using your app. So, you know, you're kind of taking from either people you know you've already worked with and you know their preferences, or people you're sort of thinking about that and how they might uh, want to use this. So it's a little bit of, um, you know, your own making it up in your imagination based on your experience as much as it may be from like your market research. So I hope this helped and I appreciate if you like this video, just hit like below. Feel free to share it with anyone that you think might benefit from it. And you can find me at techdivamedia.com.